What's up, y'all? It's Grant back here with another episode of The Grief Files, and today I want to talk about the topic of is rap a young man's game anymore? And I seen this kind of. I asked my followers this like a couple, like a couple days ago. Um, I'm not even asking, but I kind of said I don't think it's a young man's game anymore. And also the thought of like Common and Pete Rock dropping their album. Uh, LL Cool J and Q-Tip dropping their album in the fall, and then the Black Dot uh, and Danger Mouse album that dropped probably like a year or two ago. Um, the reason why I disagree with the notion, I'm not going to say I disagree with the notion, but the times have changed because you could say rap was a young man's game when hip-hop was first starting out. And Somebody made a great point that we haven't gotten to see hip hop age up until now. So it it was obvious that it had to be a young man's sport because, you know, people were, I mean, the genre was still growing, you get what I'm saying? So hip hop is not 50 years old. So I feel like, I feel like now you can say it's kind of a mix. Um, I think the greatness of hip hop right now is that its access, its accessibility is its biggest weakness, but also its biggest strength. Um, with things like streaming and social media, it's so easy to blow out. And yes, it's very easy for bad, bad music, bad people things like that kind of translate into the game not to say that they aren't bad people already in hip-hop but the filter or the gatekeeping there's no filter for that anymore because streaming and streaming era internet killed I I think streaming and the internet kind of watered down the gatekeeper for for rap um but the good news as well is that I don't think as hip hop originally was anti-establishment. So I feel like coming out and saying that we don't, I'm not going to say we don't need gatekeepers or anything like that, because we definitely do. But with the accessibility of the internet now, the easiest, it's probably the easiest time to ever to build a niche fan base or promote your music or things like that. The loopholes that people had to go through to get noticed that were also considered cultural staples aren't really there anymore. Like for example, like people say the XSL, XSL freshman freestyle is a cultural staple. and. Most of the rappers on there don't really care about the freestyle anymore. I don't think that's their fault. I think it's more so you need to know the type of rap artist that you are bringing on to your platform and adjust it to that. Now, with rap being kind of like a young man's game or old men's game or anything like that, I think it's just all type of the, the type of music dependent. Um, like, if you want to listen to like Freddie Gibbs is 42. Freddie Gibbs, one of the most critically acclaimed rappers of the past 10 years with his two albums with Mad Lil. Kendrick is about, about to be in his 40s. Drake about to be in his 40s. Cole, I think he is almost 40. Um, but also guys like these, uh, he's, I think he's 30. Um, like Odd Future in the 30s. It's just, it's just like I think that we are the topic of it being a young man sport people are using it to shit on rap and say oh my god what are these other rappers what is what's ever going to happen to rap like rap going to be dead everything like that as long as the genre has as long as the genre has the black voice it never dies um that that's my viewpoint on it you can agree or disagree uh, just let me know in the comments but that's my opinion on it um, but I think we often use our legends longevity against them uh, 
every time uh, a super older rapper or a guy with a 10 plus, 20 plus career drops a bad album, I don't think it's fair to say, oh my God, rap is dead, rap is in the gutter and everything like that. Like, no, like, they're just good at what they do. I'm not saying that that makes everybody else bad or it should every single good album dropped by somebody who came up during the blog era or before should be a grand indictment on the same but it stayed at hip hop every single time. Um, all in all, I think whoever navigates the internet the best and whoever builds that connection with their with their fans the best is gonna be the winner of the internet. Um, we can talk about TikTok and things like that, but I think that only is a tool to get people to the next step. Like, hey, this is to get you noticed. Now you have to build on it. Um, but all in all, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Um, that'll be easy. I'm out.